What is going on everyone? Welcome back to Dom Sims and today we are on the Kansas City to Topeka route. That is correct guys. We are about to run this UP stack train over here and it has the Rio Grande a heritage locomotive on the point of the train. That is correct guys. So without further ado we are set up at this little crossing. We're going to go on ahead and get ourselves moving here. And don't mind the fact that it has alternating ditch lights. It shouldn't be having alternating ditch lights. Alright, so we are making our way out of Kansas City on this UP stack train with UP 1989, the Denver and Rio Grande Heritage locomotive on a 90 car stack train. We are heading to Topeka today, which is in about 65 miles, so we'll see how long we can go on this one. Alright, let's go on ahead and start accelerating out of uh, Kansas City. Alright, so we are heading towards Topeka Yard today. I'm not sure if we'll go all the way, but we'll see what happens as we go along today. I don't think we have any locomotives on the rear, so what we're going to go on ahead and do is head our way back towards the cab of our train. So yeah guys, we are running this stack train. We got the 1989 on the front. I don't know why this uh, locomotive right here has its ditch lights on, but it is what it is. Kind of strange, but it's okay. I actually ran the uh, big boy on this line once before uh, from Kansas City all the way to Topeka. It took me a little over two hours if I'm not mistaken because I ended up having to stop a few times for water so it shouldn't take me that long today because we are running a diesel powered locomotive and when it comes to diesel locomotives we don't have to worry about stopping for water as we have another train coming up rumbling along over here I'm not sure what it is but we'll find out what it is in just a second it looks like some sort of uh, local local train of some sort a couple of GP40s on the train we'll watch it meet up with our train here Wow, even the ditch lights on the trailing unit are on too.
All right, so we're going to find a crossing to uh, catch this guy. Find a nice little spot to catch this guy, and I just found one. We should be good for 60 here in just a second, so we're going to go on ahead and start picking up speed again. Just like that, we are good for 60, so let's go on ahead and highball. And I'm also thinking one of these days, guys, I'm thinking we could run either the big boy again on this line, except go the opposite direction of where we're going right now, or we could run a special with these uh, F units that I have. So whichever one you guys want to see, let me know in the comments down below, and I will happily take your guys' request. And whichever one gets the more popular vote, will be the one that we will be the one that we use for the scenario for the passenger special on this line And we're catching up, oh, not catching up, but it looks like we're passing up a small cut of cars here. Might be an industry over here, actually. Yeah, it is. Got a uh, industry area out here, industrial area out here. Oh, we are in Muncie. Okay. We are about to be good for 70 miles an hour here pretty soon. Actually, I'm going to see if I can find another spot at the uh, other end of this town of Muncie. So I apologize about the uh, camera work here. Uh, it's actually uh, trying to make it so it's not so bad. I think I found a crossing right here at the other end of town. Oh, wait, no, I didn't. I thought that was a railroad crossing. Oh, there's one right here, though. I mean, it's not a uh, level crossing, but it's something at least. Alright, there it goes. I'm going ahead and see where there could be another rail fan spot. Because I actually forgot to uh, take a picture of this for a friend of mine, so I figured I'd uh, go ahead and find a another 
railroad crossing so I can get going with that one. So we're still a little over 50 miles away, so we actually will see if we will get this whole route done in a single episode. We'll see, guys. All right, here comes our train now. Okay, so this time we actually might watch the whole train pass by. Alright, and just like that, we have no uh, rear DPU on this train. Let's go on ahead and catch up to the head end of our train. Actually, we'll just go ahead and do it this way. It's taking a while to load everything. <laughs> Alright, so we are going back down to a 60 mile per hour zone. But that's okay because we haven't reached 60 miles an hour yet.
All right, so once again, we are entering a 70 mile per hour zone. And um, I'm thinking we probably will head on out towards Topeka today, depending on how quickly we can get out there. I mean, we're still a little over 50 miles away, so we'll have to see how things go. Just figured I'd do an in outside view for a little bit, but I think at this point I'm going to go ahead and jump back in the cab for a little bit. Do like a little, uh, I don't know why this isn't showing anything, but obviously has some barely a little few things showing over here. I don't know why it's showing I'm in reverse, and yeah, I don't know why barely any of this stuff is working, but. It is what it is, at least we know that this is working, that's all that matters to me. And, uh, yeah, this is the, uh, UP 1989. Oh, I just barely skipped past the crossing, but it's okay. Alright, so we're going to be coming to a 55 mile an hour zone, so we better start slowing down. We are going to be speeding a little bit. All right, so we are passing Bonner Springs. Oh, we got another train coming. Looks like another, uh, train with the uh, GP40s. Yeah, if I say GP38s on the last for the last train that we meant if I meant to say GP40s, not GP38s, but I'm just so used to the Peninsula Corridor. Alright, so we have a train with a couple of GP40s on it. Making its way towards oh a few of them actually no two of them never mind. Making its way towards uh, Kansas City. Oh wow was that 1376? Hang on. If so, that's a unit that I know in the in the uh, Bay Area, San Francisco Bay Area. Let's see, what's leading this train? Let me try to get ahead of it here. Yeah, 1376. Oh my god. Wow, okay. A locomotive I know very well from the uh, Bay Area on the uh, Roseville slash NorCal service unit for locals. Wow, that was interesting. Pretty interesting catch right there. A locomotive I know very, very well from the local service unit in my area. At least I think 1376 was a locomotive around here. I feel like it was for sure. And yeah, just like that, it definitely was a local around here. And I think it still is. I'm not exactly sure if it's still around, but it definitely is a local around here. It was within the Sacramento area about five months ago as of the latest uh, YouTube video regarding that locomotive, so. Alright, so we're about to speed our way back up to 70 miles an hour. The top speed that we've reached so far is about 60 miles an hour, so.
All right, so what I'm going to go on ahead is I'm going to go on ahead and let you guys enjoy the drive, enjoy the ride, rather. And I'll go on ahead and catch you guys when we are about, about 20, I guess, miles away, unless something comes up that I want to show in the video. All right, I'll see you guys in about 30 miles, unless something comes up that I want to show you guys. about to meet this UP stack train up here if you're gonna show that looks like he's just sitting there either that or going very very slow and he's just sitting there guys Uh, 8511, I've seen that unit before. Leading uh, the southbound Coast Starline, believe it or not. Alright, I'll go ahead and catch you guys in about. What the heck? An empty container on that train? What in the heck? That's odd. Alright, I'll catch you guys when we are. We are currently about. 40 miles away so I'll go on ahead and let you guys enjoy the rest of the ride and I'll go on ahead and catch you guys when we are about 20 miles away guys we are about 30 miles out but I figured I'd just show you this really nice looking depot over here in uh, Lawrence Kansas I think it is So yeah, that's the train passes, guys. I figured I'd just show this really nice looking depot of some sort. It's in uh, Lawrence, Kansas. This is somewhere I'm wanting to rail fan one of these days whenever I get the chance to visit Kansas again. But yeah, just something I want to show to you guys. So we are about just under 30 miles away. So I'll go on ahead and catch you guys in about 10 more miles or so. less than 20 miles away I'm gonna go on ahead and catch this train at a uh, do a rail fan view real quick
All right, so we are less than 20 miles away. Um, right now, I'm just focusing on a place to get myself a thumbnail picture real quick. So I'm going to be doing at least a couple more of these uh, rail fan views here. So let's actually go ahead and set ourselves up at this crossing right over here. I think I actually found the perfect one. Alright, so I think I actually found the perfect thumbnail, guys. So let's go ahead and jump back on in the cab. And you know what? I'll actually go ahead and catch you guys when I'm about 10 miles out. Let you guys enjoy the drive for about seven more miles. less than 10 miles away from our destination in Topeka. We're going to go on ahead and get one more rail fan view and then we're just going to go on ahead and uh, stay in the cab for the rest of the journey. So this has been a pretty quick journey. I'll actually admit it actually has been went by rather quick. So I'm actually quite surprised. This has been a pretty uh, fun journey so far. Let's see what that signal is down there. I thought for sure we'd be meeting something, but it doesn't look like it at this point. So we're almost to Topeka. And um, yeah, like I said, this has been a pretty quick episode, pretty interesting, got to pass by the Lawrence Depot, which is somewhere I've been wanting to visit ever since I passed it when I passed by it on the Big Boy special that I ran. Speaking of that special, I mentioned in the beginning of the video that I wanted you guys to make a vote on which special I would run next. It would be either the Big Boy again or the F units, and whichever one gets the most votes will be the power used on the special so leave your votes in the comment section down below and whatever gets the most votes we will use and i'm also planning one of these days to run a bnsf passenger special on both the mariah's pass rail routes and the bnsf high line rail routes so Look out for videos of that as well. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I really don't have much else to say other than the fact that we are about seven and a half miles out of Topeka. I know I really don't have much to say in all these videos, and I apologize about that. I know I'm not the most entertaining when it comes to making videos and I'm still trying to find ways to get a little more creative on how I make my content so I mean, if you have any advice on how to be more creative and have much more to say then also go on ahead and leave me a, a suggestion in the comment section down below on how I can be a little bit more entertaining and more interactive and because I tend to be anti-social from time to time, so I'm not the one who has much to say, really. So, like I said, I do apologize if I'm pretty quiet during the videos and whatnot. That's just the reasoning right there. 
Yeah, we are about six miles out of Topeka. So once we enter the yard siding, I'm going to go on ahead and end the episode. It may be a little bit short of where we're going to stop, but I'm just going to go on ahead and just stop the train and end the episode over once we get ourselves into the clear on the siding there. So we'll be over there in just a few minutes, guys, as we're meeting another train. Another UP stack train. This guy's pretty long. I don't know what's up with these random AI trains having a uh, random empty well cars right in the middle of the train. It's kind of strange. I think there's a couple more coming up. I can see a little gap in between these uh, couple containers coming up. Yeah, a couple more uh, empty cars. Oh yeah, there he goes. All right, so we are coming up to East Topeka here pretty shortly. Going to be getting ready to enter the uh, yard limits here in about four miles or something like that. I don't know, maybe three and a half, something like that. But we are getting a bunch of random speed limit changes, so that's probably... And, and that means we're probably getting close to the Topeka yard entrance. Well, it looks like we're going to be meeting with yet another train here pretty soon because I see an approach. So we're about to drop down to a 30 zone here. So let's go on ahead and start slowing down for that. So we are in East Topeka now. We're almost to the yard entry point for Topeka. It definitely looks like we might be meeting another train here pretty soon, possibly. And coming up is actually a pretty interesting uh, area out here in Topeka. So I kind of want to go on ahead and get a rail fan view of that real quick. Like right around here, if I had to guess. Yeah, let's try to this area here, coming up at this little depot. Oh, I wonder if this is actually a mainline crew change point. I don't know. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so we definitely have a train sitting down there somewhere. <laughs> All right, guys, here comes our train. We are coming into Topeka.
Oh, that was close. Whoops. Sorry about that, guys. Accidentally knocked over the keyboard. Whoops. Ooh. Okay, I wasn't warned about that 15 mile an hour zone. Alright, let's. Oh, okay, the 15's not coming up for another less than a mile or so. I don't know why I was, uh, wasn't warned about that, but it's okay. I'm going ahead and watch this train right up here and watch this other train come along. So both of our trains are going pretty slow. This guy is going pretty slow and my train is going pretty slow. Alright, here comes this train. I wonder what's leading him. Looks like 13... 1378, uh, I think? By the looks of it. That looks like 1338, actually, and 1374 or something like that. Oh, 1368, okay, and uh, 1364, okay. There he goes, huh, to wherever he's going. he goes as he gets ready to clear. And my train should be coming up pretty soon too. Yep, and just like that, the end of my train is coming. Oh, geez. Weird little AI glitches in the crossing, but at least uh, both trains are clear now, so cars can go through without issue. Alright, let's go on ahead and catch up to the head end of my train, and we'll actually uh, drop ourselves down to the switch. And once the train is clear of the switch, we'll go on ahead and end the episode.
All right, we are just about clear here in just a little bit. We still have this much train left. Just like that, our train is coming up to the switch up here. So I'm going to go on ahead and uh, get ready to stop the train here once we get in the clear of the main line. just like that we are pretty much in the clear of the main line once we pass this little tiny signal up here we'll know for sure that we're in the clear all right and just like that we are coming to a stop so with that i'm going to go on ahead and end the episode right here i hope you guys enjoyed this one if you did enjoy this one hit that like button hit that subscribe button tell all your friends about these and i'll go ahead and catch you guys in the next video.